Okay, so continuing where I left off, uh, so we've come with these settings, with these assumptions, we've come pretty close to 550 ppm stabilization. Um, uh, if we look at the carbon emissions, we can see that, in fact, uh, to achieve uh, that uh, CO2 trajectory, uh, that roughly 550 ppm CO2 trajectory, stabilization uh, CO2 trajectory, we would need to bring emissions uh, to a peak uh, of less than 8 gigatons per year. Um, uh, by you know the next decade or so and we would uh, need to begin bringing them down and in fact uh, if we had um, uh, sought to stabilize co2 concentrations uh, at an even lower level say 450 parts per million uh, that's the blue curve here which we're well above um, to stabilize co2 concentrations at 450 parts per million uh, we would need to bring emissions to a peak even sooner, and we would need to start uh, bringing them down uh, far more quickly in future decades. And so uh, for your first uh, course project, uh, described later on in this lesson, you are going to be uh, playing around uh, with the settings, um, uh, the, the various assumptions for uh, per capita economic growth, uh, energy intensity, and carbon efficiency projections for the future, um, and perhaps uh, uh, population assumptions about population growth and population stabilization, and see if you can come up with a realistic scenario, um, a justifiable uh, scenario uh, of assumptions uh, for these various terms that uh, allow us to stabilize CO2 concentrations at a level that uh, would minimize uh, the risk of exceeding what we might define as uh, dangerous uh, human interference with our climate. So your first project will involve um, integrating what we've learned about um, uh, climate models using simple climate models um, to look at projected uh, temperature increases and then looking at the distribution, the probability of uh, future temperature increases and uh, what uh, changes we could make in policy and behavior that would allow us to stabilize CO2 concentrations at a level um, that uh, gives us a, a fairly high probability uh, of avoiding breaching um, uh, some uh, temperature, some warming limit that we might define as uh, dangerous interference with the climate. So you'll have uh, lots of time to play around with this and get used to using this tool yourself and combining it with uh, projections that we make from our simple energy balance model to address uh, these issues in your first project.